if y'all can stick with me for a minute here i just want to give y'all an update uh for the next three to four weeks we're going to be releasing videos uh on tuesdays and wednesdays uh so today you are seeing the es335 on tuesday will be the fender special run telecaster here and uh, the blue uh, thin line telecaster refinished and then on saturdays this is going to be like the start of the tuesday saturday drop uh videos to be dropped uh the american stratocaster here and uh, Sienna Sunburst with the Tex-Mex and the Diamondback and then the 98 uh, Made in Mexico Stratocaster with the, the American Vintage Original pickups, the 62s. So it's gonna be a little bit of repetitive uh, with the same videos, uh, but please stick with me. Uh, in about two weeks, we're gonna be doing a comparison between the Blonde Twin Reverb and the Super Reverb. Um, so I'm ho I hope y'all enjoy that with the same guitars, of course. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be fun videos with that and then uh, here pretty soon we'll go over uh, this guitar in about three weeks we'll do the unboxing uh, but just giving you a sneak peek just about what's going on but please keep us in y'all's prayers uh, Sarah's about to go into surgery in about a week so I'm just going to be spending as much time with her as I can and then you know we're not sure what's going to happen afterwards um, so I'm just trying to uh, pre-record a lot of stuff and I'm editing a lot of stuff right now so enjoy the video and uh, the videos to come God bless peace and uh, please keep us in y'all's prayers. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, welcome back to Holy Roller Guitars. I'm Holy Roller. Today we are going to be playing the Epiphone ES335 through the Twin Reverb Tone Master Blonde. And um, I'm going to try and do a shootout with all of these guitars be behind me. If uh, y'all haven't already seen them, uh, please uh, look at the videos before. Uh, this one on my video feed and uh, see if there's any that you like. This is a modified uh, ES-335 figured. Uh, this one actually has the Gibson Burst Bucker 1 and the Burst Bucker 2. It still has all the original electronics um, but just want to give you a view of the front and then the back, beautiful back, beautiful neck. Tuners are went back to factory. I had some gold Grovers on there before and I I switched them out so uh, beautiful inlays and uh, there you have it um, the amp we're running through the 22 watt attenuation mode the volume is at 2 and the microphone is placed about uh, four fingers and my thumb away uh, from the mesh so I hope the audio comes out good and I hope you enjoy it please stay till the end where I like to give uh, daily advice and scripture I try and do scripture I'm trying to do it more um, I'm going to give you all some scripture today and what that scripture means to me. So hope everyone has a blessed day. Please consider liking the video, subscribing, and uh, hitting that bell notification. Uh, but we're going to be giving you a short video because we're giving you a giveaway. So, so we're actually doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. And here's a little uh, commercial about that. We're giving away a coffee mug. Remember, we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So uh, we're giving away a coffee mug and a C-130 sticker. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Thank you and God bless.
This is going to be the same message for all of the Epiphone uh, guitars. Hey everybody, I really hope that y'all enjoyed these Epiphone videos um, for the 56 Les Paul Pro, the ES335, and then the Les Pauls, or 1959 Les Paul, and the Honey Burst, and then the uh, Standard 50s in the Heritage uh, Sunburst. So today I want to leave y'all with a scripture um, out of uh, John chapter 5. Uh, verse 20 so it says for the father loves his son and shows him everything that he himself does and he will show him greater works than these so that you may be amazed so I kind of want to express what that means to me that scripture so in a musical way, what I want to share is I know that a lot of my viewers are older than me um, and there's some younger than me, but I want to speak to all of the subscribers and I want to say that if you know how to play the guitar and you're here just to look at the gear and to look at the videos and stuff, I greatly appreciate it. But I think one great thing that we can share is the gift of music. So if you yourself know how to play guitar, if you can show your son or daughter, your niece or nephew, or even a cousin, and if they wanna play guitar, tell them, look, I don't want you to be intimidated by the guitar. I can help you, I can show you a few chords, and let's, let's you know, do this. And if you have an extra nylon guitar, I would, you know, uh, suggest starting off on a nylon. I think that'll be a great, a great gift that you can give your family, your friends, and loved ones. So that's what that kind of means to me, that you, that he's going to show him greater gifts. And so um, with that being said, I hope you'll have a blessed week. I hope you'll have a blessed day. Thank you all for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I, I hope that y'all can like the video, subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, if you're, if you're here, you're already subscribed, I'm pretty sure. But um, I'd appreciate all the love and support. So please comment down below again what's your favorite uh, Christian song, your favorite guitar, your favorite amp, um, or your favorite scripture if you'd like to. Uh, please, I'd like to talk to y'all in the comment section. Take care and God bless. Peace.